This is the kind of stuff I'm doing to get on these fish. Literally just pulled off on the side of the highway ramp. Oh my gosh, it looks incredible. All right, yeah, no one is fishing this. Just gonna walk down to this pool, strap the GoPro on my head. I'm throwing a woolly bugger type fly. I don't even know what the name is. Hopefully gonna catch these fish. I've been wanting to fish this river forever, so I'm just casting my woolly bugger out here, seeing if I can get a bite. It really looks incredible. Flows are high, these fish should be feeding up. I'm hoping to get a couple bites. most rewarding catches in a long time. Fishing a stream where no one else has gone. Catching gorgeous little wild browns in a tunnel. So sick. Guys, that was insane. I lost a fish in this pool right here. I thought it had to be a trout. Cast it right up in there, caught that fish. I'm fishing under a bridge in a tunnel right now. In a place where no other angler would go. I literally pulled off on the entrance ramp to the highway to get to these fish. I am totally mind blown right now. All right, it's officially time to go full send for these fish. I'm gonna cross the river right now because I don't have much time to fish. I'm wearing my nice pants, my winter boots, and I'm literally just gonna send it across right now. Oh my God, it's so deep. Oh my, I don't know what I'm doing right now. It's the Uncle Larry outdoors. Woo. All right. All right, so the reason for that was to get over here to this untouched water that literally nobody has probably fished within the past few years. Go where no man has ever gone before. Made it through the tunnel, working my way up to the next pool. Absolutely soaking wet, but I'm loving every moment of this right now. Just, Just fell into the river. We're still sending though. I'm getting up to this next pool. This pool right here is precisely why I sent it across that section right there. Here at Uncle Larry Outdoors, when we fish, we fish like we mean it. We're not messing around. We do not hold back at all to get on these bites. Hopefully I get rewarded for crossing the river. Oh, there he is, bigger wild brown. There he is on the fly. Like I was just saying, hopefully I get rewarded for going under that bridge, wet waiting. <laughs> and I definitely just got my reward right there. Nice little wild brown just gotta wet my hands first just took the fly in this pool that nobody else can get to that is so sick oh my gosh got him bigger fish another wild brown hooked into this is the sickest little bite I've probably ever gotten on right here. I can't believe I ended up wet waiting for these fish. So this is my last cast in this pool. I'm gonna move upstream, fish one or two more pools because the initial plan was for me to only fish for 20 minutes and then just get out of here. But just due to the fact that this exploration has worked out so well, I'm just staying here for another few minutes.
big brown. Oh my gosh. That's the fish of the day right there. That's the one we were looking for. Big wild brown, just crushed the bully bugger. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Let's get this fish landed. Close to 12 inch wild brown out of this stream right here. On the fly, at the leave. So the video's probably gonna end a little bit short, but that's a beautiful fish. Oh man, I wasn't filming. Literally just fell into the river. I'm soaking wet. Fish in one more pool because I got here. Oh my gosh. So I'm heading out right now. It's such a cool little mission right there. I wish I could have fished for longer. I'll definitely be back to the spot. But just the fact that I pulled the car off on the side of the highway and literally just went down to a creek that I didn't even know how to trout and caught him like that was really incredible. As the car is speed by me. All right, unk out. That was sick. Never in the send. Keep on getting on your local bites and just have the time of your life out there.